What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning back in here to another episode here on the Speedbug channel. Well, I wanted to make a video here to you guys talking about the Shelby and I got some runs and stuff with you here at the racetrack. So I wanted to share that with you and kind of go over the car and what happened and what pretty much was all done to this vehicle. So you guys seem to like the uh, 2020 GT500. So I figured I'd kind of go over that with you guys. So here we have my uh, 2020 GT500, and um, it's pretty much just a, a bolt-on car. I did not go E85, I did not do any uh, uh, flex fuel or MS109 or anything. It's just straight pump 93, not too crazy modded. Uh, I put injectors in it, uh, supercharger pulley, intercooler bricks to help it because I'm spinning the bowl a little harder, uh, so keep the, the IATs uh, definitely cooler. And of course, a uh, bigger front mount intercooler. Long tube headers and a few other bolt-on modifications, exhaust, you know, things like that. A few aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing items, but that's pretty much about it. And we ended up right at about 900 rear wheel horsepower. Now, for the people that wanted to know, did I specifically tune this vehicle? Not entirely. I definitely had the help of Palm Beach Dyna help me tune this vehicle. Because as you guys know from watching the channel, I am not so m familiar with the... Uh, Ford platform even though I've had many Mustangs in the past but most of my tuning knowledge or actually a matter of fact all of my tuning knowledge on the gasoline side is uh, with the GM vehicle so I gave it uh, into the hands of uh, some people that uh, do a very well good uh, do, do have uh, to me do a very well uh, and good enough job for, for my uh, for my standards and and pretty well known in the industry for for doing some some really good things so 
Uh, they handled the uh, ECU calibration side. I made a few changes on the TCU side. I did do the transmission side on this car, but uh, any other changes overall, my experience also with Palm Beach Dyno was uh, very well. Uh, so we'll go to the uh, the track. We'll show you guys. I you already know I'm not a specific person that releases uh, times directly on their cars, uh, but we as you can see, I am still on the bone stock tires that came with it. it is a Michelin Pilot 4S. I did not put our triple eights or anything on this car. This is how it ran, and I'm going to tell you right now, still on 93 octane. Uh, it went. Uh, let's just say into the. It's faster than the nine, so we'll just tell you that. Uh, but uh, so it's pretty cool, amazing what you could do with these cars, as opposed to how far I've come with my ZL, uh, ZL1, and how far you can really push the overhead cam motors versus the in the in uh, block cam motor. So it's pretty cool. So hope you guys here enjoy the footage. I got three good runs. First run, I was still trying to get acclimated to the car. Couldn't really figure out the line lock and the launch control. Second and third runs I did and uh, really also be able to set up the suspension. You could really see the car squat. So thanks for tuning in guys and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video.